Three ways to make a woman pee easily in her pants. Introduction Understanding the Context Bladder control issues are a common experience for many individuals, and they can arise in a variety of contexts. Whether due to medical conditions, anxiety, or simply a humorous situation, the need to manage or intentionally induce urination can be pertinent. This blog post aims to explore safe and respectful techniques for making a woman pee easily in her pants. It is important to approach this topic with empathy and sensitivity, recognizing the natural human experiences that may lead someone to seek out such information. As we delve into the methods to make a woman pee easily in her pants, it is essential to maintain a respectful tone and approach. The goal is to provide helpful information that can be applied in a variety of situations, always with the well-being of the individual in mind. By understanding the broader context, we can better appreciate the importance of these techniques and ensure they are used appropriately and compassionately. Method 1 Using Water and Sound Triggers The connection between auditory stimuli and bladder control is well documented in the realm of neuroscience. Various studies have shown that the sound of running water can serve as a powerful trigger for the bladder, often stimulating the urge to urinate. This phenomenon is attributed to the brain's conditioned response to certain sounds, which are linked to the act of urination. To utilize this method effectively, one can start by creating an environment that promotes relaxation and comfort. Encourage the individual to drink a moderate amount of water beforehand. Hydration plays a crucial role in ensuring that the bladder is full, which is a prerequisite for inducing urination. Next, introduce auditory stimuli that mimic the sound of running water. This can be achieved through various means, such as playing recordings of waterfalls, streams, or even simply running a tap. The consistent sound of flowing water can act as a cue for the brain, triggering the bladder to release urine. In summary, the use of water and sound triggers is a natural and effective way to stimulate the urge to urinate. By creating a calm environment, ensuring proper hydration, and leveraging the brain's conditioned response to auditory stimuli, one can facilitate the process of urination. This method is especially useful for those who may experience difficulty in urinating on command or in unfamiliar settings. Method 2 Relaxation and Distraction Techniques stress and anxiety can significantly impact bladder control, often making it difficult to relax enough to urinate. Understanding the connection between stress and bladder function is crucial in addressing this issue. When the body is under stress, it enters a fight-or-flight mode, which can inhibit the relaxation of the bladder muscles. Therefore, implementing relaxation and distraction techniques can be highly effective in facilitating the process of urination. Engaging in relaxing activities can also serve as a distraction, helping to ease the process of urination. Activities such as reading a book, listening to calming music, or practicing gentle yoga can shift focus away from the urgency to urinate, thereby reducing stress and facilitating bladder relaxation. Creating a calm environment is another essential aspect of this method. A quiet, dimly lit room can make a significant difference in inducing a state of relaxation. Adding elements such as soft lighting, aromatherapy, or comfortable seating can further enhance the calming atmosphere, making it easier to urinate. By incorporating these relaxation and distraction techniques, women can better manage stress and anxiety, thereby improving their ability to urinate easily. Employing these methods consistently can lead to more effective bladder control and a more comfortable experience overall. Method 3 Physical Stimulation and Pressure Points Physical stimulation can be an effective way to induce urination by targeting specific pressure points on the body. These points, when gently massaged, can stimulate the bladder and promote urination. It's essential to approach this method with care, ensuring that the individual is comfortable and that the pressure applied is gentle and respectful. Another effective pressure point is found on the inner ankle, known as the spleen 6 or SP6 point. This point is located about 3 inches above the inner ankle bone. To stimulate SP6, use your thumb to apply gentle pressure in a circular motion. This pressure point is known for its ability to influence the bladder and promote relaxation, which can help in facilitating urination. Additionally, the bladder 32 or BL32 point, situated on the lower back, can be beneficial. This point is located in the sacral area, about 1 inch above the crease of the buttocks. 
To stimulate BL32, apply gentle pressure with your thumbs in a circular motion. This can help in releasing tension in the pelvic area and encouraging urination. When using physical stimulation and pressure points to induce urination, it is crucial to remain attentive to the individual's responses. Always ensure that the pressure applied is gentle and that the person feels comfortable throughout the process. Respect and communication are key elements in making this method effective and ensuring a positive experience. Safety considerations. When exploring methods to make a woman pee easily in her pants, it is crucial to prioritize safety and consent above all else. Understanding and respecting personal boundaries is fundamental. Before attempting any technique, ensure that there is clear and enthusiastic consent from all parties involved. This not only fosters trust but also ensures a more enjoyable and comfortable experience for everyone. It is essential to be aware of potential risks associated with these methods. Some techniques may pose health risks, particularly for individuals with underlying medical conditions, such as urinary tract infections, bladder control issues, or other related health concerns. Therefore, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional before attempting any methods that could potentially impact one's health. Common Myths and Misconceptions Bladder control is a complex physiological process, and it is often surrounded by numerous myths and misconceptions. One common myth is that certain techniques can instantly make a woman pee easily in her pants. However, the reality is that bladder control is influenced by various factors including hydration levels, psychological state, and individual anatomy. It is important to approach this topic with an understanding of the body's natural responses and the limitations inherent to these methods. Another widespread misconception is that drinking excessive amounts of water will always lead to immediate urination. While increased fluid intake does stimulate the kidneys to produce more urine, the time it takes for this process to result in urination can vary greatly among individuals. Moreover, forcing oneself to drink large quantities of water can potentially lead to water intoxication, a dangerous condition where the balance of electrolytes in the body is disrupted. Real-life scenarios and testimonials Understanding the practical application of techniques can be greatly enhanced through real-life scenarios and testimonials. Many individuals have shared their experiences with methods designed to make a woman pee easily in her pants, each providing unique insights and valuable lessons. Jane, a 34-year-old from California, found that laughter was an effective method. She shared, during a girl's night out, we watched a stand-up comedy show. The constant laughter made me lose control, and I peed a little. It was an embarrassing yet liberating experience. Jane's story highlights the power of laughter in relaxing the bladder muscles, making it easier to pee. Another scenario comes from Emily, a 28-year-old yoga instructor from New York. She recounted, I was practicing deep breathing exercises during a particularly intense yoga session. The combination of deep relaxation and physical exertion led to me peeing myself slightly. It was an unexpected but enlightening moment. Emily's experience underscores the impact of relaxation techniques and physical activity on bladder control. These testimonials provide a range of perspectives on how different methods can lead to a woman peeing easily in her pants. From laughter and yoga to hydration, each scenario offers valuable insights into the physical and psychological aspects of bladder control. Learning from these experiences can help others understand the potential outcomes and prepare accordingly. A conclusion respect and understanding. Throughout this blog post, we've explored three distinct ways to assist a woman in urinating more comfortably and easily. By ensuring a safe and supportive environment, employing effective communication, and leveraging practical tips and techniques, it is possible to alleviate some of the discomfort and anxiety associated with this personal issue. Each method discussed aims to provide practical solutions while maintaining the dignity and comfort of the individual involved. It is crucial to approach this sensitive topic with the utmost respect and understanding. Every person's experience is unique, and what works for one individual may not be suitable for another. Therefore, maintaining open and empathetic communication is key. Respecting boundaries and preferences cannot be overstated. It is essential to prioritize the comfort and consent of the woman in any situation related to this matter. By doing so, we can foster a more supportive and trusting environment.